Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about the Sophos Central PSA integration with ConnectWise Manage. The integration with ConnectWise Manage is going to be billing integration only. The requirements are going to be that you are part of the MSP Flex program, you have access to your Sophos Central partner dashboard, and you have access to your ConnectWise Manage with the proper integrator rights already set up. Once that integration is set up, the following data is going to be sent over to ConnectWise. The customer name, the license name for the product, and the usage for that particular product. This data is going to be added to the Customer's Agreement Additions. So the Addition tab inside of that Customer's Agreement. One of the criteria on here is the agreement name inside of ConnectWise has to be unique for each and every customer. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this setup is done inside of Sophos Central and inside of ConnectWise Manage. Okay, first we're going to start from the Sophos Central Partner Dashboard. From here we want to ensure a few things. We want to ensure that we do have the usage for monthly customers available to us from the dashboard. Also on your Sophos Central customers, we want to make sure that we have create a monthly account. If you do not see either one of these components on your Sofo Central Partner Dashboard, please reach out to your MSP team. This means that your MSP Flex application has not been completed. This will be required before you can continue. From here, we're going to go to Settings and Policies, and we're going to go over to PSA Integration. And one of the first things you are going to see is the ConnectWise Integration Guide. I definitely recommend you check this guide out. It is a full walkthrough of the integration of ConnectWise to Sophos Central. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and jump into ConnectWise Manage. From here, the first thing that we want to do is go under Procurement and Product Catalog. There is a requirement for us to go in and check to make sure that the miscellaneous product, which you'll need to type in miscellaneous here, and you'll need to set your status to all and then hit search. What we want to do is find these two miscellaneous items inside of here and ensure that the status of both of these items is set to active. Once you have completed this, you've changed both of those from either inactive uh, over to active, or if they're already active, you're all set. The next thing we're going to do is go to system. From system, we are going to go to members and then we're going to click on API members. From here, we're going to go ahead and create a new API member. What you're going to want to do is call this Sophos Central. The member name can be the exact same. We're going to want to ensure that this role is an admin. The corporate level, your corporate name should be filled in here as well. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save. Once we hit save on that, we're going to be able to go over to the API keys. And here we're going to go ahead and add an actual key pair. So again, we're going to come in here. We're going to type in a description. This is going to be my Sophos Central API. And we're going to select save. At this point in time, it is going to present me with my public and my private key. Please note that you will need to copy both of these down. The public key will be available from here, but the private key is only available once. At this point, we're going to need to copy some details over into Sophos Central Partner Dashboard. The first thing that we're going to need is the URL access into your actual ConnectWise Manage Dashboard. If this is hosted, it'd be your hosted URL. If you're hosting yourself, uh, it'd be whatever URL that you have assigned to get to it from the outside. We're going to go back to our Sophos Central Partner Dashboard, and we're going to go ahead and hit Get Started. From here, it's going to prompt us to fill in those components. So we're going to need that ConnectWise site. We're going to need our ConnectWise company ID. And then we're going to go ahead and need that public key. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy my public key. Drop that into the REST API. And we're also going to go ahead and copy that private key. Now again, 
The private key is only going to be displayed once, so make sure you take a copy of it. You can always recreate your API. If you forget what it is, go back in here, delete the current one, recreate a brand new key, and run through the setup again. As soon as we go ahead and enter that information inside of here, we're gonna hit save. As long as I've set up everything correct, what this is gonna do is it's gonna save that information. It's gonna to start to populate the ConnectWise Manage on the back end, and it's gonna let me know which customers that I have that can be now brought into the ConnectWise Manage platform. Now, this is going to be important. If we notice in my Sofo Central customers, I have three customers. However, only two are being presented inside of the ConnectWise Manage integration. The reason for this is if we take a look at my Manage customer usage, one of those customers is going to be a termed license. Only monthly flex customers will be able to be synchronized into ConnectWise Manage. Term customers, they already have a term set in stone license. Nothing is going to change, so there's no need to integrate them into your ConnectWise Manage. So at this point, from the PSA integration, we have everything set up inside of here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and connect the Sofo Central companies to the ConnectWise managed companies. To do this, we're simply gonna go ahead and click on the ConnectWise customer name, and we can go ahead to start to type in the actual account names on there. Now, in mine, this one's actually called Steve Weber Lab. I actually have it in here as SRW Lab. I'm gonna go ahead and connect those two. The next point of this will be to assign the agreement. Now again, the agreement name does need to be unique. So if you have them called Sophos Agreement and every single one is called Sophos Agreement, we will not be able to synchronize into that account. You will need to add an identifier, which is what is most commonly done to the beginning. So in case here, I've got SRW Sophos Agreement. If we go down to Burn Inc. and take a look, his company name actually matches exact. We can go over to his and he has a Burn Sophos Agreement. Now that the agreements are set and in place, what we wanna do is go ahead and hit the slider to go ahead and indicate that yes, we want to go ahead and synchronize these accounts into ConnectWise Manage. The last component is at the right here, make sure you hit save. At this point, it's gonna let you know that your accounts are going to be synced nightly. Uh, the information in there is 24 hours old at best. Now, at any point in time, if you want to go ahead and synchronize at this moment, you want to see exactly what you have in there right now, you can go ahead and hit that Sync Now button. This essentially forces a synchronization from Sofo Central into your ConnectWise Manage. Now let's take a look at a couple of the components that were added into ConnectWise Manage. We're going to click back over into our ConnectWise Manage tab, and we're going to go to Procurement, and we're going to go to our Product catalog. From here, we're going to go ahead and type in Sophos and hit search. Now, without you having to do anything, we've already populated the products from Sophos Central into ConnectWise Manage. Now, the product ID and name here cannot be changed. What you can change is your cost, if you want to factor that in, and the price at which you are going to charge for that particular product. You'll notice that the software type, category, subtype, all of these components inside here, you do not wanna change these either. They are set uh, for our particular product. So they are gonna be listed as software. In the future, this will probably change where we can allow you to make changes to the actual type, subtypes, and categories in there. But for now, the only thing you can really go ahead and change on there is going to be that price. You'll see that you'll have your Sophos Endpoint Advanced, your Endpoint Standard, your Intercept X, Mobile, whatever products you are using, those will be synchronized into your, so your ConnectWise agreements. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into our companies and we're gonna take a look at the companies that we have there. And we're gonna hope that those have already gone ahead and synced into. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at SRW, which is one of the companies we're working on. It's my SRW lab. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the agreement. And you'll see that I have a managed service agreement with my SRW Sophos agreement inside of here. 
And if we come inside agreement, it's a pretty standard agreement in here. Now, what you'll notice is the additions tab. The additions are the products that you have deployed inside of Sophos Central Admin for that customer. So for my SRW lab, I have a quantity of one for my Sophos Endpoint Advanced and a quantity of one for Intercept X for this particular customer. If we come back to our company search, go ahead and clear that out and we'll type in our next company to take a look at. We have Burn Inc. We're gonna go ahead and go into his agreements as well. Again, Manage Service Agreement, Burn Sophos Agreement, and in his case, he has four additions added to here. So he has Endpoint Advanced, the Intercept X. He also has the Wireless Performance and the Wireless Standard. He's currently utilizing three Endpoint Advanced, three Intercept X, and has four wireless access points currently assigned inside of his environment. Two of those that are assigned inside of the Wireless Performance Standard, and two of those that are assigned under the Central Wireless Standard. So at this point, we have everything synchronized into Sophos Central. We're gonna go ahead and we'll just refresh this current page. And from here, we can now see we have two companies that are fully synchronized. There are no synchronization errors and there are no companies being ignored. It will tell us that the last time this sync was done, you can see that just took place now. If you do have any companies that are listed under ignored, it simply means that you have not ticked the box to synchronize them to the PSA this is completely fine. If you have companies with synchronization errors, you'll wanna take a look at uh, what is going on with those particular errors. If you have a problem and you cannot figure out why they are not synchronizing, please go ahead and open up a uh, ticket with SOFO support. That can be done by either emailing uh, msp.support to at sophos.com or at the top here under help, go ahead and create a support ticket. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to go through this quick walkthrough of how to set up the Sophos integration to ConnectWise Manage. I hope this is helpful and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks.